Alright y'all, so we back with another video, uh, Naruto Unhinged. Um, this isn't a playlist, so I'm assuming that y'all are binging this shit if you on episode on episode 7. Who the fuck would just watch episode 7 and then not the other ones and skip the first few? What? <laughs> so I'm, that's what I'm assuming if you're watching this. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Y'all already know what to do. Y'all already know what it is. Let's just go ahead and get into it. Oh, yeah. Also, while we're watching this, I'm going to just have this in picture in picture just just for a little bit because I want to upload one of these videos while I'm watching it. Just real quick. It'll be real fast, but that's all. Just so y'all know. Series related to it. So y'all know This video is a parody for entertainment purposes and for the enjoyment of fans that follow the original series. But with all that said, please enjoy the video. Episode 7, the first exam. The first exam. Hey, I'm locked in, y'all. Select that. All right then. Now that I have y'all's attention, let me explain the rules to this first exam. This exam is a written test, and your main goal is to answer these questions the same way you think a real nigga would answer. These <laughs> the same way you think oh, a real nigga would answer. Oh, this gonna be an easy one hundred then. <laughs> this gonna be an easy one hundred then. Hmm. For this, exam this nigga is <laughs> no cheat. Cause if you cheat, you a bitch. <laughs> you a bitch. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> right, like you ain't gonna get disqualified or nothing. You just a bitch. And you lose. And we gonna know it. Question you get wrong. <laughs> if you get caught cheating, you'll lose two points. Oh, okay. Now, if one of you dumbass niggas fails this entire test, every person on your team fails too. Damn, everybody. Damn failed. it! Why the f does that have to be a rule? That pink-haired meat rider isn't gonna get a single question right. Damn. This should be an easy test for you. Don't worry, Naruto. Yeah, you're right, Hinata. But do you think you'll be able to answer every question on this test like a real nigga? <laughs> I'll be fine oh as long God. as I answer them the same way you answer them. She basically just called me a real nigga without saying it. <laughs> she basically Some may just... see that as meat riding, <laughs> but me personally, I see it as a sign of respect. What the fuck? All right, now fix your faces, cause y'all got one hour to finish this exam starting now. How the hell is there a correct answer for these questions? Damn it! How am I supposed to answer these? Okay, it's about you? time I show these niggas that I'm a real nigga. All I have to do is get these questions right. Now let's see what the first question says. I'm already knowing this test bout to be mad easy, because the first question says, If you are approached by a group of people and they ask what your shoe size is, how should you respond? In parentheses, it says, these people are black. What the f*** does this even mean? That's pretty easy. Wait, you can wait, wait, I did because I want to actually hear the question. I wasn't listening for just a second. Sorry, y'all, just real quick. Test bout to be mad easy, because the first question says, if you are approached by a group of people and they ask what your shoe size is, how should you respond? In parentheses, it says, these people are black. <laughs> what the f*** oh. does this even mean? Don't you That's pretty easy. You can either ignore them oh and my keep God. it pushing, In parentheses. or you can stand on business and tell them that your shoe is not their size. Now, let's see what hmm. question number two is asking. Oh, it's a multiple choice. If you happen to find yourself in a heated argument with someone who has a metal plate in their jaw, Sorry, uh, what should be your main priority? Uh, in parentheses, it says, his name is John John. How are you even supposed to answer this? And why the hell is his name important to the question? This is just common sense. <laughs> your main priority should be your own safety. Because right. if that nigga really has a metal plate in his mouth and has a name like that, He's probably crazy and fights pit bulls. These questions. Exactly. Hey, if you know, you know. Shout out RDC for that. Don't make any sense. They sound like questions Naruto would ask. Wait a minute. Only a select few of us would be able to answer all these questions. All right. And the instructor probably knew that. Done, y'all. And going off of the things I heard Naruto say about being a real N word, he would probably say <laughs> that they would get answers by any means possible without being caught. So that's probably the actual purpose of this exam. Luckily for me, I believe Naruto knows the answer to all these questions. I just need to find a way to see his answers without getting caught. I don't know how he expects us to answer these. Poor Naruto. He's probably over there struggling unlike my glorious King Sasuke, who's probably almost finished. 
I'll just have to pull <laughs> my weight and make sure finished. I pass this test to hopefully increase our chances of moving on. We just started and I'm almost done with this test. This is just too easy. Now let's see what question number 10 says. In your own words, define the term real nigga. Ain't no way they put this as the last question. This is probably the easiest one on the test. You know what? I'm gonna purposely get this wrong just so they know I could have answered this question correctly, but no. chose not to. That's some real nigga shit if you ask me. <laughs> so my oh my definition God. of that term would be Naruto Uzumaki. So that's some real nigga shit if you ask me. Hey, we're gonna see how they feel about it. We're gonna see how they feel about it. Well, uh, damn, I don't got a paper towel. Hold he's up. not even writing anymore, here. so he's most likely done. But I can't find an opening to see what he put. Especially since that weird ass Proctor keeps looking over at me. But that's besides the point. Because it seems like some people are slowly catching on to the real purpose of this exam. Which is what? <laughs> Even Gara knows that you have to cheat like a monkey to get results sometimes. Since I have just finished my test, I should start planning on how I can make that Sand Village racist crash out. I'm surprised you can see his paper from here, little buddy. As much as I hate on Naruto, I can at least admit that he's probably going to do good on this test. But of course, I'll never let him know that. Luckily for me, I secretly slipped an apple bead onto Kabuto's chair before we started. What? So it most likely went in when he sat down. Oh my now, god. Now all I need to do is listen to the vibrations it's giving off to be able to tell what answers he's putting down. I just realized he probably placed that bead here as a way to cheat. I can't let anyone realize I saw it and willingly sat down without knowing it was for cheating purposes. Bruh. It's still, it's shaking the screen. Are you sure these are the right answers? Is it, mm, 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 you said mm, Kiba mm. and Sasuke were trying to copy Naruto's answers? So you think Naruto's answers are correct then? All right then, that's good enough for me. Because you did good today, I have a surprise for you tonight. Make sure you leave your wings extra oily before coming to see me. Oh, wait. All right, we back. I just had to show them something. Before coming right. to see me. Damn, girl. We're in public right now. We can't what? be seen talking like this. So Say. we'll continue this conversation tonight when you get those wings oiled up. The what? What are you even gonna do? Damn. It's a it's a what can I do to make him it's really a fly. Mad? Let me leave you with this. I heard he once had a teammate who he thought agreed and supported his beliefs. Gara ended up finding out that was false, and the teammate was never seen again. I have an idea on what I can do with that information. Pretty the instigation the planning phase is now complete. Now all I need to do is find the right moment to start the first stage of the instigation itself. <laughs> oh my god. He's really I Bro, it's a well thought out plan that he has. I bet it is. Bored as hell and have to just sit here. Damn it. Since you already finished, can I ask you for a favor? Huh? What? Why is she stuttering? Can, can, can I? Why is she stuttering so much? Why? What, what is she about to ask? If you don't mind, can you give me the N word pass for one minute? What the? What? Fuck? For one minute. I'm just minute. gonna act like I didn't hear that and ignore her. <laughs> Damn it. She did technically call me a real nigga earlier, and she listens to young boy too. And she listens to Fuck young it. boy. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. I'll give you the pass for 30 <laughs> seconds starting from the exact moment I stop talking. So say what you need to say and make it quick. Oh my god. Oh, um, I only wanted it because I wanted to answer the last question by just saying Naruto Uzumaki because he is a real nigga because I truly believe that it looks like she actually believes uh. every word that she's saying right now the realest nigga alive <laughs> the, Naruto's the realest nigga I know this must He's be the what realest it's like nigga for Sasuke alive. when he gets glazed but the only <laughs> difference is I don't see this as meat writing I see this as real recognizing real Real recognizing real. That You're sounds saying. like a great answer, Hinata. 
And I appreciate the nice words you said about a young fly nigga like myself. So as a way to say thank you, oh I want you to keep you... the N-word pass for as long as you like. Forza. Whoa. What the fuck did I do? What did you do? You blatantly <laughs> cheated right in front of me. Don't even oh. explain it to him. Just drag him and his sorry ass team out of my classroom. Sorry for the voice change. Oh, <laughs> why the fuck? Why the fuck does he have that sound as the? Yeah, yeah. If y'all know what that sound is from, with that old white man trying to pretend to be like a rabbit dog or some shit. L listen. <laughs> oh my god, bro. That's hilarious. Explain it. Sorry to for him. the voice change. Just okay. drag him and his sorry ass team out of my classroom. Bro. <laughs> Sit your ugly ass back down and do your test, little nigga. Oh. He got pressed up on a wall in front of a whole classroom just for asking a question. Damn. Wouldn't let that happen to me, though. Ha, <laughs> wouldn't let that happen to me, though. The realest nigga alive. The realest nigga oh. alive. Damn it, I'm just guessing at this point. My glorious king wouldn't be happy, but it's the only thing I can do at this point. Excuse me. I need to use the bathroom before I piss myself. Hmm. If he's doing what I think he is, then I might give him a promotion in the clan. Make it quick. The clan. Oh, yeah. An opening to get Naruto's answers. If he lifts his arm again before that proctor gets back, I'll be able to see what he put down by using my Sharingan. Or better known as the Edrin Gone. Edrin. What a perfect name. Powered by the perfect practice. Edging. Since I'm in the back, I can see a few people trying to copy Naruto. So somehow he must have the right answers. And if that's the case, I'll just use my mind transfer jutsu. Mind transfer jutsu. Now, all I have to do is memorize these answers. He lifted his arm. I finally have a clear view of his paper. I understand now. These questions are meant for baboon people. So of course this uh, won't make any sense to me. So, of so course. instead of wasting my superior mind on these questions, I'll just get my answers from one of the chimpanzees. I also see this as a perfect opportunity for the white man to prosper while stealing from the blacks. <laughs> stealing from all the black folks. You damn baboons don't even know. I knew something was off with him. No one from the superior race would willingly put down such ignorant answers. He must be a half-breed. A half-breed. How unfortunate. Unlike most of these people, I don't need to cheat. I have enough experience from the hood to answer these questions. <laughs> Thanks Frozen for helping me get out YouTube that classroom. Was hate. Uh, I was surrounded by way too many half-breed vine swingers. Damn. It'd be and like I know that you game. definitely understand what it feels like to need a break from being around some nick. Isn't that right, Jim? Jim Crow's puppy. Oh, shit. This first exam is dragging on way too long for my liking. I just want to go home and smoke the weed I bought for me and Asuma Sensei yesterday. You know what? Never mind. He probably already smoked the last little bit that was left. <laughs> Damn. That, uh, nah, oh, I'd be hot as soon as I get back. Like, Isn't that Shikamaru's last weed? bit of the weed? Oh, he... Yeah. So why are you smoking it then? I know you heard me. So how long do you plan on sitting there with that dumbass look on your face? My fault, Kakashi. I zoned out. You know how strong this Leaf Village pack is. But anyways, what did you yeah, say he, again? He, I said, why are you smoking Shikamaru's last bit of the weed? Nigga, I don't know. Weed for me is like what the Green Goblin was for Norman Osborn in Spider-Man 1. I'll be chillin', then I'll start hearing the weed call out to me repeatedly. <laughs> then I Fair. usually end up smoking what up, the night? weed after. Wait, night. What are you even talking about? Non-P. You sound okay. like an addicted crackhead. Fuck you. What up, non-P? Come on, Kakashi, just leave him alone. I get he's your boyfriend or whatever, but I'm getting tired of having to deal with this nigga every time he gets high. 
<laughs> oh my god. Now that's a word we use. No, that's crazy. Hold on. Alright, we back. Sorry. We deal with this nigga every time he gets high. Now that's a word we usually don't hear you say without a reason. Looks like hearing Naruto say the N-word 20 times a day is bringing that 37% of African back out of you. Whatever. <laughs> that Talk to me once you sober up. That 37 No way he fell asleep. Mm. I'm locked All in. right, listen up. Gotcha. We still have 15 he minutes left. But I can yeah, I appreciate see it, most Nampi. of you are already done. So I'm adding a bonus question worth 100% of the grade on your test. If it's worth 100% of the grade, oh, it's gonna be doesn't a good that question. technically mean... So technically, if you got every answer wrong, but get the bonus question right, you pass. Oh. This is perfect. But if you get it I wrong, you fail. guessing on every question. But it's a double-edged sword. Because even if you got all the answers right on the test, but get the bonus question wrong, then you fail the entire exam. So wouldn't Damn, it be smart so was... to just not attempt the bonus question if you think you got all the other questions correct? But you see, if those were the only two rules for the bonus question, then that would be boring. So I'm gonna add one more. If you don't take the bonus question, then you also fail the entire exam. Which by default wow. will disqualify your whole team. Wow. Those rules are ass. Hmm. This nigga doesn't know who he's talking to. Because I was going to attempt the bonus either way. Plus, I got faith in Sasuke to get this question right. You do? Wait a minute. I forgot about her. Yeah. There's not a single timeline where she would be able to answer these questions correctly. All she knows is meat riding Sasuke. So there's no way she would be able to answer whatever this bonus question is. Damn it. She's going to sell the whole team. Yeah, she's going, she's going to sell. Yeah. You can't do that. I already know. Mm. That's not fair. You can't just add rules like that, especially when the test is almost over. You know what you sound like right now? A bitch. What? You sound like a bitch. Now sit down and stop complaining. Ooh. Now, does anyone else have something they need to say? <laughs> they said no, sir. He's right, no, though. Sir. This isn't fair at all. <laughs> you see this shit, now? That Nampi? basically means we just spent almost the last hour doing something pointless. It's like you want us to fail. I don't care yeah. if you think it's fair. Nah, for real. I mean, hey, what was the point of that? I mean, it, it didn't even matter what we did. Pointless. It's like you want us to fail. I don't care if you think it's fair or if it's pointless. The third Hokage wanted a real nigga to hold the first part of the exams, so he specifically chose me. And I'll be damned <laughs> if I let some lil motherfuckers that I watch cheat try and tell me how to handle my test that I personally created. Ooh. So you should be happy. Right, because all y'all cheated. Yeah, all y'all cheated, didn't you? See? Well, except for Naruto, but yeah. So he's just like, shut y'all ass up. Some of you, like shut I did that up. other team. Because at least you guys were actually sneaky about it. I didn't even have to cheat. Loki, that's a flex. Right. Before I yes. tell you what the final question is, I would like to give you this option as well. If you or anyone on your team gets this question wrong, you will forever be prohibited from getting the N-word pass and label. Forever. But forever. if you leave now, forever. I will let you try again next year. Just raise Ooh. your hand to signal that you will be leaving. Ooh. See? But see, you'll never get it, you'll never get another chance. You'll never get another chance. Ooh. Yeah, you might as well leave. They said no, huh? I'm not a real nigga. Damn it. I'm not cut out I don't out know what to this. do. I mean, there's a small chance that Neat Rider might get it right by guessing, but that's highly unlikely. So if she gets it wrong, it would lock me out of getting the label forever. Yep. But on the other hand, if I leave now, I would have to wait an entire year. And there's a chance they might not even have this exam ever again. Yeah. You know what? That's Fuck true. It. Oh, raise his hand. Fuck you and your weak ass test. Oh. Oh, what's up? I'm not about to let some old ass nigga wearing a Timu Leaf Village do rag be the reason I fail just because you want to add some random rules. So listen up, because I'm speaking for everyone in this classroom when I say this. 
We're not doing whatever that weak ass bonus question is. So go <laughs> ahead and fail all of us. And while you're at it, try using some cocoa butter. Cause that scar on your face is mad crusty, my nigga. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> now that's how you stand oh, on business. Right, right. Loud and oh god. Just like the rest of his kind. I like a man <laughs> that stands on business. Interesting. I know that look. So is this your final oh, decision? Wow. Eat a dick. Ooh. Ooh. Nah, you, you better... See, he All gonna right. pass. He gonna pass. It's decided. He's gonna pass. I will be passing everyone in this classroom. Oh yeah. Yeah. Why, though? This seems really random. And if you're being serious about the passing part, then the first 90% of the test was actually pointless. So we basically just wasted a whole hour doing nothing of importance. Yeah. Hey, how you doing, Crazy Barry? How you All doing, right, girl? Listen, it Hold wasn't up. fully pointless. Uh All right, we back, y'all. I just wanted to address somebody in the of chat course. right quick. But no, that's crazy. So Naruto, so they all passed. I thought it was just going to be Naruto that passed, but I guess they all passed. Okay. All right, listen. It wasn't fully pointless. Of course, someone worthy of the N-word pass and label would find a way to get answers by any means necessary. But also, anyone can cheat so that alone isn't a valid test. So think of it as just a little segment to transition into the actual test. Hmm. The real test started with the bonus question. With the bonus so I question. was simply waiting for someone to actually challenge and go against the unfair rules I was adding. Hey. If that's Nothing. the case, why didn't you pass us after I said the rules were unfair? You didn't really challenge me. Right, just... no, I was about to say, right, you ain't really challenged that nigga. All you said was, hey, that shit's unfair. And then he told your ass to sit the fuck down and you sat the fuck down. So you can't even, no, you didn't really challenge him like you said. Us after I said the rules were unfair. You didn't really challenge me. You just complained about the rules. Then when I called you a bitch, you shut up instantly. Mm, exactly. <laughs> you shut up instantly when he called you a bitch. On the other hand, this young man outright challenged me, insulted me, and refused to do the bonus altogether, mm. even though mm -hmm. he knew the consequences of not doing it. That mm -hmm. right there was a young man standing on business. <laughs> that right there was a young man standing on business. Facts. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, you said, what, you watched the original Naruto, right? Oh, yeah, I have. Uh, you watched it all? And so I haven't, I'm not all caught up, like, because I haven't watched Boruto or nothing. I've seen some scenes from he it, but, you know. Speaks for but not facts, see? See, Naruto, he deserved to win. And since he said he speaks for all of you, I decided to pass all of you. Ah, oh, see? Even though see? they can't fight, That's what's up. that street might not be as trash as I thought. Now that that's he said, even though they can't fight. The proctor for the <laughs> second part of the exam should be here soon. Huh? That was a pretty long trip to the bathroom. Didn't you say you just had to pee? Well, you know, I drank a lot of tea before the test. And we all know how quick that builds up. Am mm. I right? Technically, you weren't here when I gave them the option to leave. So I guess I'll let you and your little puppet slide for now. What? Oh, no. so you think you're clever, huh? Well, just because you're clever doesn't change the fact that you're a nick. Oh. Oh. Whoa. The second part of the exams will be starting tomorrow by the forest gate. And if you're not there, I'll come hunt you down myself. And you don't want that. Yeah, Trust you know. me. <laughs> right. Oh, you feel me? me you feel me, Barry? Sensei. I what expect to see you all at the training field tomorrow morning. And if you don't show up, I'll find you and give you some brutal one-on-one -on -one nutsack training. What the fuck? What? 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 Nutsack training? What even? What? Okay, you know what? I'm not even going to ask questions. I do not own Naruto or any other okay, series. Okay, look, related. okay. Look, so since this is part of, you know what? Let's see. Mm, okay, I'm not going to end the video. So for anybody watching, we're just going to go ahead and watch this because it's uh, 7.5. I don't know why he did it like that, but 7.5. We're just going to go ahead and watch it now. It's like six minutes and then I'll end the recording and then we'll make the next episode. You know, you get it. Fuck it. To it. This video is a parody for entertainment purposes and for the enjoyment of fans that follow the original series. Oh, wait. But with all this is a good stopping point for me to. 
All right, y'all. I just had to. I had to watch a scene from Boruto real quick because we was talking about it in the chat. But we back though. Oops. Or any other series related to it. This video is a parody for entertainment purposes and for the enjoyment of fans that follow the original series. But with all that said, please enjoy the video. This is still episode seven, though, y'all. Seven point five. Rock Lee and the Point five, but still seven to me. Disclaimer. Everything said in this video are just jokes and not my true beliefs. Plus, I'm black. <laughs> what? I'm black, so you can't say nothing. <laughs> so you should see. I wonder if, because why did he say that? Does he say that because in the other videos people were getting on butt with him or something? Y'all think? Because so what? But I feel it though. I mean, it's like because I, I wouldn't have explained myself. I believe what you want to believe. If you jump into conclusions, that's on you. Think that you can't think for yourself. <laughs> I wouldn't have even what explained do you want? it. That first exam was pretty tough, right? Considering that it wasn't meant for people like us, I guess you can say that. Mm. You are right. Mm -hmm. hmm. I like that you agree. Tell me, why did you decide to come talk to me? And why are you bruised? About one hour after the first exam, I tried to instigate two black guys into fighting. They <laughs> realized what I was doing and he started did. jumping me. He did. Yeah. You poor thing. It hurts me to hear that those animals would harm you like that. Nigga, he, he was instigating them. <laughs> white people would have beat his ass too. But nah, it's obviously just a joke. He's a white supremacist. Of course he thinks his way. It it's is just, okay even though. I put them both in the hospital. <laughs> it's just nice. funny. It's just funny. You know what? I don't even need to know why you came over here. Just tell me your name. Mine is Gara. My name is Rock Lee. Well, it's nice to meet you, Rock Lee. I want to ask you something, but... I have to test you before I ask. Ooh, I understand. Go ahead and start your test. I only need you to do two things for me. First, I need you to describe black people for me in five words or less. Mm. I can do that in four. <laughs> what? I would describe them simply by saying, they not like us. Popular words from Kendrick Lamar himself. What? Oh Kendrick Lamar? What? That sounds like a black name. I just thought of something perfect. I could make his crash out hit even harder if I make him think Kendrick Lamar is white too. Oh. Kendrick Lamar is not black. Oh yeah, because remember, because remember, he's he's yeah, he wants to get uh Gara, which is the dude with the tattoo on his face, assuming that you ain't watched the show, uh, to crash out or whatever. Because remember, he lives he lives for conflict. He lives to instigate and fight. So he's trying his best to get him to crash out. Even harder name. I just thought of something perfect. I could make his crash out hit even harder if I make him think Kendrick Lamar is white too. Kendrick <laughs> Lamar is not black. He is actually white. And he says the N word with no hesitation. He may sound black, but that's only because he wants to give those people a false sense of security. You should mm -hmm. listen to him sometime. If everything wow. you said is true, then I'll check him out. That's but crazy. Move on to the last because then, what if he start fucking with Kendrick, and then we find out he's black, and it's like, what? No, he's gonna go crazy. <laughs> I need you to do. Say nigga. I will do you one better and quote another Kendrick Lamar lyric. Sometimes you gotta pop out and show niggas. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Pop Sometimes out and show niggas. You gotta pop out and show niggas. I like you that. Pop out and show niggas. I guess you do gotta pop out and show niggas their place in society. Sometimes. Oh my this Kendrick gosh. Lamar sounds like a white savior. <laughs> I'll definitely check him out now. See, you will not regret it. All right. No, this will get him to crash out. This will get him to crash out. I want you to join the SVSC, which stands for the Sand Village Supremacist Clan. Will you join? I would love to join. All right. Then it's settled. I'll let you be the Leaf Village branch of the SVSC. And since there are exams happening right now, there's a chance we might be put up against each other in a future exam. If that happens, let's just play around and give those monkeys some type of entertainment. No need to risk an injury, which might oh, cause dude. one of our future superior generations to be affected. I mean, if I was I on your side. I understand you 100%. I do understand him, but just not in the way he thinks I understand him. Because now <laughs> I know exactly how to make him mad. If we get put up against each other, then that would be the perfect time to betray him and watch him crash out. Ooh. All right. Then yeah. that puts our little meeting to an end. I'll see you around, Lee. Ooh, I I'm feel like Destiny brought us together today. We'll see how you do it. I <laughs> cannot wait to pass this story down to the people at L Block. This crash out is going to be legendary. 
the fact that that's the, like your goal in life and then you're gonna go tell You've your homies about it and they're gonna they're gonna back. praise you did something happen something did happen something good this there's, there's probably a nigga something out there really that really good, thinks actually. like that though but we need to talk about something more important right now i gotta cause as much commotion okay, as possible what do we need to talk about then you know i love you right gone grow you're my brother and we share the same beliefs about those inferior beings you probably understand me the most out of anyone of course gara i feel the same exact way well the same can't be said about tamari at least not anymore she's been changing a lot these past few years and i'm starting to think she doesn't support the svsc like we do i thought she was just joking around at first but i'm starting to think the same thing as you i thought that too but after today i realized she wasn't joking what happened Oh yeah, I think Do you I remember. remember that light bright monkey we met the other day? The one that always wears orange? Yeah, the one that's always loud and says nigga in every sentence, right? Yes, that's <laughs> exactly who I'm talking about. Okay, what about him? While you were at the bathroom, he started being loud and obnoxious, but somehow him doing that caused us to pass. It's still something my superior mind can't comprehend, but that's mm -hmm. besides the point. Because after that, I looked over at Tamari and she had that look on her face. That oh, look no. on her face. Oh. Don't tell me it was that look. That and I'm look. pretty sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. The same look she gave that 6'4 half-breed before she said she had feelings for him a few years ago. The one that we only accepted because he was only 5% black. Which was uh -huh. very stupid of us to do, might I add. Damn. God damn it, Tamari. Why does she have to be like this? Relax, Kankuro. I need you to hear this. Until these exams end, we will not speak another word to Tamari. And when they finish, we'll find a fitting punishment for her. Does that sound like a plan? Mm-hmm. All right then, that's settled. Yeah, some says it's There's one more thing I need to tell you. We have a new member of the SVSC. I think he has potential to go far in this clan. His name is... Rock Lee. Oh, ah, see? I do not oh, shit, Naruto okay. Well, that's the end of... That's the end of episode 7. 7.5, 7 but like, you know, we're just gonna put it all in the same one. Hey, I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm assuming y'all binging this shit if you even watching this video. So, yeah. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm gonna holler at y'all.